Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix a FIFA 23 controller not working issue and real this matter if you're using Steam um, EA app or uh, Epic Games, uh, the process will be pretty much the same. So first open up Steam and then if you uh, have FIFA on uh, Steam, you're good to go. But if you have an other platform, uh, you need to add FIFA to a, a Steam. So press uh, add a game on the bottom left corner, then add a non-Steam game, and then you need to press browse. Then you need to look where your uh, uh, FIFA games, uh, FIFA files is located. For me, I got from EA app, so it will be on a program files, EA games, and then FIFA, and then here should be EXE file. If you got it from uh, Epic Games Launcher, you just need to go to the files um, on Epic Games, go to the uh, FIFA and then look for the files and then you will see where your files is located and then just add it here and then press add select pro uh, programs so I already did that and uh, once your game is on Steam then you need to press on Steam logo here on the bottom on the top left then you need to go to settings then you need to go to controller uh, make sure the guide button focus Steam is selected and then uh, plug your controller and depending on what controller you're using uh, you need to select buttons so if you're using playstation controller select this option if you're using xbox select this option if you're using a uh, generic controller also you need to uh, select this one and just select the option of what controller you're using and then uh, also make sure that idle gamepad shutdown timeout is on ever because on default it will be 15 minutes. So this means after 15 minutes your controller will shut down. So we don't want to do that. Select never, and uh, here uh, everything is selected. The controller should work. And if for some reason it's not working, then right click on the game properties controller here, and then uh, select default settings. And then if that's working with default settings, then select enable Steam input. And if it's not working, then select Disable Steam Input. So you just need to uh, select these three options here and it should work. Right, so that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.